Here's a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. Kicks caught behind the line. And now it's going to be second down and a mile. Miles Murphy helped out by Xavier Thomas. Being absolutely dominant. Inside move, 98. He sees that left tackle on the pole. Completely blows that play up. And now, if you're Georgia Tech, this is, we often hear you're off schedule, right? This is off schedule, <laughs> second and 16. Per game, which is number five nationally, doing an excellent job protecting the quarterback. And another handoff once again, it'll be Garo with the carry, but nothing there. Miles Murphy. Keep that Clemson offense off the field so they continue to struggle. Levy met with a bit of a wall there, a wall of orange, no place to run. Second down nine, just 45 seconds left in the half. 13 to three Tigers. Rossell. Here comes the pressure. He cannot get free. He goes down. He's sacked on the play. That was Miles Murphy. Miles Murphy is the guy here. I mean, he just does a great job of just kind of stunning Vrabel and then pulling him by. And, you know, Dennis Grissel kind of gets stuck holding the football a little bit longer than he probably wanted to. Yep, and lost six. Two for eight with a pick in the second half. From the end zone, pressure, trying to get back over that goal line. He did. He stacked up at the five-yard line. And the Tigers all over him. Murphy and Simpson taking him down. He's coming from the bottom of your screen, and he just runs over Travis Levy, and it's really an excellent effort. As my partner said, maybe not for long. That's Corbin in motion into the backfield where he sets. Takes the handoff. Little counter. Nothing doing. Blown up on the front line. Q Clemson's defense doing a nice job up front. Couldn't get away. Brought down at the 37. And it's third down coming up. Miles Murphy with the sack. Reaction and adjustment to the football by Harrell. 45 yards. And on the ground it's Mitchell. And tied up by Miles Murphy. Zergi Otis, the quarterback, after the pick. Tigers flush him out, and they'll sack him back behind the midfield line. First guy there was Miles Murphy. To block Miles Murphy in this Clemson defensive line. See Murphy coming through. Trey Williams as well getting there in the backfield. They're going to try Mensa, and he doesn't get it. Boy, you're running right at the teeth. Well, they used it earlier. There's Zergi Otis, wants to throw, sack, ball loose. And UConn fell on it with Haynes, the right guard, recovering it. Miles Murphy knocked it loose. And all the way here before McFadden punts it. Sixth sack of the first half by the Tigers. Miles Murphy, look at him on the left side, just a straight arm to Vandemark and pushes him into the backfield. Look, in games like this where, where you have... Does have ample leg strength. All time leading scorer in Wake Forest history. Hartman. Down he goes and the ball pops out. Skowski has it. And James Skowski on senior day makes another big play as Hartman did not sense the pressure coming. Brings it in. Right here, does he throw it? Yeah, no. It's, well, it looks like the, the ground causes the fumble as well. And of course, you can see is his knee down. A lot of things to unpack here. But I'm pretty sure that knee was down prior to that ball being dislodged. Let's check in with Matt Austin. Matt, what do you see in this sequence? Well, I agree exactly with what Greg said. He has the ball in his hand all the way to the ground. I think he had his elbow and his knee on the ground before the ball came out. So I would not be surprised if this is overturned to a runner being down. And a great job by the officials letting the play happen because if you blow it dead there and say oh he was sacked and all of a sudden it turns into a fumble and then you have to have clear recovery so a great job by the officials letting it play out Turner the running back he'll get the call on first down ball pops out Tigers get it back Balin Specter with a fumble recovery 
Back-to-back -back plays with turnovers. Look at number 98 right there, reaching across, knocking the ball free. Just a huge mistake there from Wake. times that Wake Forest able to take advantage of it. Wake Forest had nine rushing yards before that run for 13 by Cooley. Harvin, pocket collapses, and guess what? Another Clemson sack. Miles Murphy, sack number seven.